Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. How's everybody doing on this Saturday evening? It is a really good day for me. And actually, if you're looking right over here, I just saw the biggest black buck ever at 218 yards away. And if you look in the thumbnail from the picture of this stream, that happened last night. I passed him up so we could hopefully go after him and take him down in this stream. But I don't know if that's going to happen. We're going to have to find out soon. All I do know is there's a bunch of animals here. We have a bunch of muley bucks. We have some uh, water buffalo here. A couple over there. We have a doe there. Water buffalo there. There is one uh, black buck over here. <laughs> hey, Dane. Welcome back to the stream, Dane. Thank you for the super chat. Wow, that's a really good way to start out the stream. All right, so we also have a mule deer over here. Let's uh, jump in the chat here really quick. Say hello to some people that are very fantastic. Hey, Emil, good to see you. Breeden Watts, Alan. Clayton Adams, good to see you again. Dustin Felcher, Bass Buster, the Hunter 321, always good to see you, the Hunter 321. Dylan Bowen. The Comedy Duck, always good to see you as well. The Hunter Gaming, what's going on? Zach Ruda, welcome back, Zach. Rhino Ryan, hey, it's been a while, Rhino. Good to see you again, Rhino. The Rancher 101. And Bo Toman, Dallas Winters, good to see you again. Caden Speck, hello to you as well. Hey, Comic Book Guy, welcome. CN Gaming, well, glad to see you guys. So what I'm trying to do now is figure out where this black buck went. He was bedded down right there. And I don't see him right now, but I do have a spotting. And I know he's definitely a dime potential. I think what we're going to do for now is try and take a shot on this black buck over here. Where is he? Right there, possibly. This one's 380 out. Hey, good to see you again, the comedy. There's a female black buck here. And we have this mule deer here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to figure out what we're going to do. Morgan Brewer, thank you so much. Love your vid. Hope you had a very good Christmas. Thank you so much for the super chat, Morgan. I had a really good Christmas so far. Alright, so one of the main reasons we can't find this black block right now is because this Puma, he's got everything all spooked around here and as you can see everything is just going crazy. They don't even know what to do. Got a stag over there. Eagle deer there. Uh, there's a decent buck over here. I think we might try and take a shot on this buck first. Right there. Okay. We got a buck out here at 370 out. We do have the 243 Ranger on us. And we're going to see if we can't take a shot with this 243 on this Millie buck. 370 yards. That was a hit. Should have been a pretty good hit, actually. Yeah, we did get a single lung. Definitely not double, but I'll take it. That was a long shot. And he should go down right over there. Decent sized buck. We'll go take a look at him in a second. And we're going to swing around here. Now we do have the 243 loaded up. We also have the 3030 30 Whitlock loaded up as well. If we find the Dime Potential Black Buck, I would love to try and take him with a 3030 as well. Also, I want to thank everybody for coming out to the stream last night. For anybody who had enough patience to wait until the final end. Until we got that uh, melanistic puma. It really was something to be able to get it. I forget how long this intro song is. Wow, it's just too long. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's skip past that. The Hunter Ian, welcome back. Good to see you. Oh, we just took a shot at 
a pretty decent sized Muley Buck at about 380. Last night, shortly after the stream, I spotted a 5 medium, definitely dime potential. And I'm actually going to put some pictures in the Discord so you guys can take a look at that just to make sure. Well, you can see that he's going to be close to a thousand plus. And he's around. He's definitely around somewhere. I just don't know exactly where he is. Looks to be a pretty decent sized water buffalo there as well. We got another nice buck here at 400 yards out. 400 yards out. Let's take a shot. 400 yards out. Nice muley buck. That's a hit. Looked like that actually might have been a little bit too far forward. I'm hoping we got a single lung though. Tell you what. Yeah, that might not be a single lung hit. Depending on if the wind pushed it or not. But we'll go over and go check that out in a second. For now. Yeah, big home. Big Game Hunter, he should be a 1,000. If you look at the thumbnail, I had him about 80 yards away from us, and I just didn't want to take a shot because, well, one, I wasn't recording, and two, I wanted to save him for the stream. So I'm hoping that we can find him during this hunt. I mean, he's got to be here somewhere. Also, this is the exact location that we got the Diamond Water Buffalo. I'll show you on the map as we're running here really quick. All right, so we're on the very south lake right south of Lago BB and right here is where we spotted that diamond black buck right here he was in a herd of about 15 or 20 other black buck I think there was only maybe oh what do we have here what do we have here uh some axis deer that's a big one there four easy 260 yards out I think we're going to see if we can't take a shot on this one here. He's definitely gold potential. 260. We should be able to get a nice gold out of this. Might be my biggest access buck. Although I don't want to lose sight of where that mule deer went. We had him here. He ran off to right about here. And the other one was there. We'll be able to find him as well. So let's get on this big access buck. That's him there at 260 out. And he's down. Perfect shot on him. Oh my god, we found him! Oh my god, 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 we found him. Are we prone? Okay, good, we're prone. Holy, I can't believe we found the buck. Oh, he's right there. There he is. I told you guys. What do you think? How big do you think he is? How big? How big do you think he is? That's him. I'm thinking he's close to a thousand plus. Look at the size of that buck. He's an absolute giant. We found him. He was right there. I did not expect him to be right there. Oh, the Puma. Oh, that's not good. Where is he? There he is right there. The Puma spooked him. Honestly, we could have taken a shot. But I really wanted to take a shot on him with the 30-30 Whitlock. So maybe he'll calm down. Come back this way. Or the puma just scared them all. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we dropped that access buck. The black buck. Yeah, the access buck is down there. Now, yeah, he is huge. Three sixty gaming. He's he's giant. So Dane's saying he's 990s. Yeah, I'm going to say he's he's all of 990 plus. That's kind of what my estimate was. I was thinking he's going to be about as close to 1,000 as he could possibly come. We could have taken a shot on him, but then the fun would be over already. So it'll make it more interesting this way. We do have what should be a big gold access deer down there. And we also spotted the black buck right over here. So let's see if we can't find him. I would imagine we should be able to call him back in. Water buffalo as well. 
Now, I took some of your guys' notes from the other streams, and you're saying that uh, the jar was in the way, followed by the sub counter. So I tried to adjust things as good as I could, and hopefully everything's good on your end. Three sixty is saying nine ninety six. Just kick something up over there. That could be there. He is there. He has found him. We got him. We got eyes on him. We got eyes on him one more time. He is fleeing again because these Pumas are just absolutely nuts here. We might not be able to get him close enough to take him out with the 30-30 uh, Whitlock because these Pumas, I mean, I'm telling you. I really don't know if it's possible to get him to come closer with these Pumas chasing him all over the place. And what is this guy doing over here? That's what I want to know. What is going on? Hello. All right, let's try and sneak up here a little bit more. And we'll stay crouched. If we see him, we're taking a shot this time. I'm not holding up to try for a 30-30 shot. But he should be right down over this hill. Hey, Clayton. We got eyes on the diamond. He's right over here. That's what you missed, except for this Puma. Apparently has eyes on him as well. Oh boy, we are not after the Puma, we're after the Black Buck. There goes the Puma. Oh, we gotta remember we have about two or three different animals down as well. Oh, come on Puma. Clayton Adams is saying you have to have 103 pounds for a black buck. Alright, well we have his tracks here. We'll just track him down. It's looking like he kept on going that way, to be honest. So we have two mule deer that should be down. And an axis deer. I would imagine those are old tracks. Yeah, because he was fleeing this direction here. Hello, Caleb. Thank you so much. You've watched the videos since I had 1,300 subs. Wow. That's very cool, Caleb. Thank you for that. The Comedy Duck has five diamonds. Congratulations. Um, I don't have too many. I think I have about 29, close to 29. All right, so at this point we have a bad wind. Yep. Salt life just got a An albino axis deer, that's incredible. Congratulations. Alright, I just spotted something right there. Looks like a rare axis deer. It's piebald. Yep, it is piebald. But I think we're more after wait. Another piebald? At this point, we're after that diamond black book. 
But I'm pretty sure that is a pie ball. Let's see, where'd they go? Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think it's actually a pie ball. Oh, okay. I think we just found the black buck. And if that's the case, we might be able to get a shot on him with the 30-30 the, uh, 30 Whitlock if we get him close enough. On second thought, we're probably not even going to hesitate. As soon as we see him, we might just take a shot with this. Can't quite see through this grass, but he should be right in the back side of this. Come on. He definitely just called right there. Trying to get a little bit closer. Thank you so much, Morgan. Spend it on a new DLC when it comes out. I will definitely do that, Morgan. Thank you so much for the super chat. What do we have over here now? The Axis Deer? Hello, Connor Carlson. Good to see you. What's going on, Carter? All right, well, I'm not seeing tracks from this guy over here. We're going to swing back. Yeah, we'll go back, grab the axis deer. We'll go grab the mule deer. We'll do it right. We got to slow down a little bit. Things are all spooked right now. Could have taken a shot right away, but like I said, I really wanted to try and get a shot on him with the 30-30 Whitlock. And because of things like this Puma, that wasn't really possible. Well, let's take a look at this Axis Deer. 284 gold. We did make a liver spine shot at 256. Nice gold. That might be close to my biggest uh, axis deer so far. I'll take a screenshot of that. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find the next track on this black buck over there. But for now, we're going to swing by over here really quick and go grab this mule deer and then we'll get back on the track hey Rhino Ryan what's going on 
300 diamond. Caleb Chavez, what's your favorite animal to hunt? I would have to say at this point, maybe the red deer. I love hunting the big red deer. The pumas, not so much. They can be a pain, major pain. How's everybody's weekend going so far? Yeah, it's still the holiday, you know, Clayton. Still enjoying the holiday. There's our mule deer down there. We'll swing by and grab him really quick. I think we got a single lung hit on him. 314, we actually got a double lung shot at 375 yards out. Double lung shot with a 243. We're actually about a half an inch too low of a spine. But honestly, I don't even know if you could get spine at that distance. I mean, I'm sure you probably could, but that's still a really good shot. Can't complain about that at all. Alright, so we did hit one more there. If that one's going to go down or not, I don't know if that one's going to go down exactly. But I think for now we're gonna get back on that ax or on that uh, on the diamond black buck track. We'll track him down. We should be set for that one. Hunter Lamp, are you doing a New Year's stream? I should be, definitely should be, depending on how my job's going. There we go. It's a little bit of a mixture between country and Christmas and rock. We got a track here, but that's an old track. Hey, the Mafia Raptor. One yesterday, now today. Yeah, the Mafia Raptor. I saw you just sent me a message on, I think it was either Instagram or on, uh, on the channel, but I don't remember what it was. It was something cool. I think you just got a diamond as well. Oh, that's not good. Why are we on an axis deer track? We'll have to get back on that. Is this his track? Oh, we found his track. I'm pretty sure that's him. Let's check. Okay, I know we spotted him, so I'm not sure why we're not seeing spotting right now. Want to check something to see what the estimate on his weight was. I spotted him like two or three different times now. 98 to 112 pounds. Yep, that's that's him. This should be him. Hey, big game hunter! Thank you for the donation. Use the recurve on the black buck? Absolutely no way. I mean, I would like to try it, but the problem is, with a puma chasing after him and everything, not such a good idea. I'm a little bit confused why we can't see any... Uh, spotting information on this guy.
All right, so there's a track there. I definitely saw him running over this way. That's Axis Deer there. Uh, do I have Zag Tactics on? No, I don't. There. That should be him over there. He should be over there. Although I don't see any more any more tracks going this way. Alright, we got one right there. It's not him, but he could be in this herd. Did he just bolt? Yeah, no, I don't think he's in that group. We got tracks here. Why are the tracks disappearing? There's so many glitches going on right now. Trotting back this way. Hey, Nicholas Roberts, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. All right, we found his next track. Running. This is probably where I saw him running. No more tracks going this way. Interesting. All right, right now, right now we're tracking down a diamond black buck. Hey, what's going on, Tyler?
Hey, Blaine Fernandez, congratulations. Three diamond mule deer in two days, 990 and a rare. That's impressive. Congratulations on that. Wow. I don't know how you did that. See, this is the same track again. It keeps disappearing. Thank you for the super chat, Blaine. Hello, Parker West. How you been? Oh, this, this diamond is so lucky. We could have easily taken a shot right away, but wanted to give him a chance to try and take him with the 30-30. Now we have our work cut out for us. Somehow it's saying that it circled all the way back around, which I find that hard to believe, but it could be possible. Nice, it was a 970 dilute mule deer. That's incredible. It's pretty similar to the one that Sean John's got. Hey Zaggy. Boy, this black box been all over here. He just keeps on running in circles. Another track going this way. Trotting. We were here. I definitely saw one going this way. But. No tracks going that way. Josh Erhart, you have den during to watch your stream. I don't know if you mean dinner. Well, that's pretty cool. See, I'm really curious how this black buck got all the way back over here. Unless we're on old tracks. But it's looking pretty fresh to me. Trotting. Hello, Daniel Glyking. Good to see you again. How you been? More tracks over here, but maiden call from an axis deer. Well, I'll tell you what, this track right here will tell us if we're on the old track or a fresh track from this black buck. And it looks like we're on an old track. Figures. Well. At this point, we'll just mark that spot. I want to go over here and see if maybe the black box decided to cut across this water over here, which could have happened. Oh, some stags. 
Now, if anything, that black buck would be here somewhere. Nope. He is nowhere to be found. Unless that's him right there. It's not. But it is a black buck. Did we just find him? They might be in this herd. No, I don't think so. Now we lost the track from that one. Unless... What? It's a decent stag there, actually. Uh, we only have the 243. Is that... All right, so we have the diamond track right here. But then we hit that other one. I don't know if he's with this one. If he is, I don't want to take a shot at this red deer. Hey comedy, welcome back. What happened? We're trying to find out where our black buck went. Oh, 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 I see some out there. Oh, it's not him yet. Where is he? Found him. There he is. All right, we got him. We'll wait till he squares up a little bit better. I don't want to lose him. Come on, move. Oh, he stopped right behind the tree. You got to be kidding me. Come on. Hold still. All right. He's being stubborn. But we got him right here. He's not going anywhere this time. We got him. We got him. 100 yards out. We got him. Actually, we are going to be able to take a shot with the 30-30 Whitlock on him because he's right here. Less than 100 out. There he is, 100 yards out. Got him! And he's down. Diamond black buck down. Now we need to try and get on one of these. Real quick. Maybe this one. Oh. Definitely hit it. Decent, but I think that might have actually been an intestine shot. Hey, finally, we got him. He was being stubborn, but we definitely got him. In fact, see, that's the thing with these tracks sometimes. Sometimes these tracks are wrong. This track just said old, and it said very old. We should try and take down this water buffalo here at 180. 
Because I don't know if we got that red deer or not. Hey Dustin, welcome back. I mean, I think our harvest value is actually at 100%, but I just want to double check. We did take a shot at a red deer over here, but I think we got intestine. Here's where we hit the red deer. Just see what we got. It looks like that might be a flesh hit actually. We really need to take something down quick. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Clayton, exactly. Well, maybe we could find a mule deer over here in this herd. No. Nope. Whenever you want something, you can't find it. All we have is big game here. Big, big game. I mean, I guess we could try and hit this one here at 160. Yeah, I know 360. That's what we're trying to do now, but I don't really want to take a shot on this buffalo. We're going to have to, though. Oh, my God. This is not working out very good. This really is not working out very good. We finally found the diamond potential, but we can't find... That'll work. There we go. Jeez. Sometimes it just isn't your day, you know? And... Oh, oh my gosh. Our harvest value is so messed up after this. If it's going to be at 100%, it's literally going to be a miracle. Look at all the water buffalo, though. And then we, back, we actually missed this doe another time. Shot her over the top of her at probably 300 out. Yeah, what a good day to not bring the 7mm. Alright, Rhino, have a good one. Well, at least our dough is down here. <laughs> we have probably five or six more water buffalo hit. We're at 100%. Now we just got to get back over here. And I'm pretty sure we actually marked where he was.
I actually got something running over there. Red deer. Huh. We do have an injured stag as well. Wait. We did hit that water buffalo good. That's vital. That water buffalo will go down. Yeah, you can see it was hit good from here. See that water buffalo over there limping? That's the one we hit from before, that female. Hey, big boy. All right, sounds good. Hey, Sean Johns, welcome. You joined just in time. Actually, we spotted this uh, dime potential black buck yesterday, right after the stream, shortly after the stream. And I wanted to save him so hopefully we could get him during the stream. Is that the stag we hit from before? Uh-oh. We're about to run right into the stampede of stags here. Or red deer. And our black buck should be... Right over here. Did we not mark him? Oh, I think I marked where the red deer was. There he is. We found him. We found him. I'm gonna say he should break 990s. 9.68. He was a huge diamond. Look at the size of the horns on him though. He looks like he would have been a thousand plus. 27.7 score. And that's our second diamond. 106 yards out. We actually did take him with the 30-30 this time. So it was kind of worth it to pass him up to be able to take him with the 30-30. But at the same time, we might have been better off just taking the first shot that we saw when he was, uh, well, about 100 yards out as well. Take a screenshot. That thing is pretty massive, though. Hey, thank you, Sean Johns. Thank you, Landon. Daniel Glanking. Thank you, Jason. Salt Life. We got him. And he's a huge diamond, biggest one yet. But now we need to somehow start over and clear out our harvest value because we have way too many animals hit. Wow. We got him, that's the one we're after. Yep. Well, actually, is this the water buffalo? Nope. At this point, I might as well try and take a shot. You would think that would have been spying, but maybe not. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we have way too many animals hit to really worry about anything. Big Game 121. We have quite a few to track down. I don't know, I think at this point it'll be better off for us to just be able to kind of start fresh from the beginning. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll start over. Go into a different spot. No more hunting this spot. No more tracking these down. Uh. Alright, so now that we found that dime, we can calm down a little bit more and I can calm down and pay attention more to the chat. I really have a hard time focusing on the chat when I find something big like that. <laughs> it's pretty difficult, but 
At least we got him, and we took him down with the 30-30 Whitlock as well. Now we're kind of swinging wide to the right side here. Down where I saw a dilute mule deer not too long ago. <laughs> Zaggy K, that's pretty funny. Yeah, you do. I think you are like the king of, of the diamond black box, Zaggy. Oh, hello, Puma. There should be our mule deer. I just got eyes on probably like five or six of them, or are those axis deer. No, they're axis deer. 245 out on that one. 247 out. 240. Alright, I think we might take a shot on this front one here at 240 out. We'll stay zeroed in for 320. Oh, I'm shaking so bad right now. This should help. That might have been a clean miss. I don't know. Might have been a hit. Might have been a clean miss. Hard to tell. I think it was a clean miss, to be honest. Went right over the top of him. Oh, there they are. There they are. Let's try that again. Come on, hold still. That should have been a good hit. I don't see him taking off anywhere. Another one there. That's a really good one as well. Let's try and take a shot on this one. Oh, that's the big boy. That's a giant. We'll hold up on this guy. We'll go prone on this one. There he is right there. Hold up. Should have been a double lung shot. Yep, definitely got double lung on that. We're a little bit too low for spine, but still should be double lung. Big goal down. we got over here okay that might actually be the first one that we hit another one there perfect shot on that one dropped him we were zeroed in for 160 we just held a little bit high uh, we should have about four or five Axis deer down. Another one? Another buck and a puma. How'd that work out? That should have been a pretty good hit as well. Firefall Gaming, thank you so much. Yeah, I was going to say, anybody that stuck around last night to watch the rare Puma get hunted, well, to get shot in the end, is I really want to thank them because it took a lot of patience to get that sucker. Someone actually commented on one of the comments from the stream saying that, wow, you tracked that thing four miles, that's dedication, congratulations. And it was dedication to be able to find that thing.
Now, I would imagine our harvest value should still be at 100% until we end. Hello, Trevor. Welcome back. Looks like we have a couple of them stacked up right here. This should be the big four. Yes, 309 score. We got a double lung shot. Oh, there must have been a couple of big fours. That's a nice shot. 221 yards out. Nice double lung shot on this big axis. Big gold, 869 on him. Take a screenshot. And we got, I think this is a female. No, nope, another big male. 253, 824 score on this one. That was the one we just got. Spine, shoulder blade, and lung at 248. And I'm pretty sure there's at least two more that we got as well. But I wish there was a way to mark exactly on this map where kind of you're at. Okay, so there should be a puma that we took a shot at as well. Mule deer. Oh, over here. Looks like we have some vital blood over here. And this might be where the Puma was. I'm guessing. 50%. It is. It looks like we actually made a spine shot. Because we're already at 50%. Wait a second. Oh, what do we have out here? What do we have out here? A couple more axis deer. I don't see anything limping. We have one right there. Medium sized one there. Hey, Dane, thank you for the dollar super chat. That's really awesome of you. That's a black buck there. Mule deer, that's a decent sized buck. Doe. Let's see if we can't hit this buck out here. How'd that work out? Uh, maybe hit too far back. I thought we had spine shot going on. I don't know why these are coming at us, but might as well take a shot. Actually, let's try this. That should take them down. Yeah, no, I'm not even really worrying about the harvest value right now. It's so messed up. Emil, you got a 990 axis deer. Congratulations. I really want to know what those are going to look like.
All right, we need to grab the seven millimeter. All done with this little 243 thing. Right after the crash. Yeah, sorry about the crash. All right, this time we're gonna change the time. We're gonna grab the seven millimeter and see if we can find some nice muleys. I mean, we'll have the 30-30 for, for a black buck anyways, so it's not like we don't have something to take a shot on them with. Just, I don't really like this 243 right now. All right, now we should be all set up. Let's go down here. Oh, we got a puma over there. If it slows up, we might take a shot and a black buck, and there we go. I heard a black buck. Decent one there. There they go. It's a real decent one there, actually. here red deer 
There we go. Got a nice very hard stag out there. Four hundred yards out. All right, let's try and take a shot at this guy. That's not him. Well, I guess the Puma's gonna eat that one. Speaking of Puma... That ought to bring it down. Water buffalo. Do I have any pets? Um, no I don't, but growing up we always had two dogs. Yo labs. Those are the stags over there? Guarantee that was a clean miss, but can't get him if you don't try. Oh, there he is. Might have been a hit. Hello, Aiden. Good to see you again. Here is the black buck chaser. We took him down. Speaking of black buck, let's pick him up. This was, hey, there we go. We lost all of our harvest value. Finally, it worked out good. I wanted to be able to reset everything and now we're reset. It's not gonna be big enough to be a diamond, but that was a 322 yard shot on him. 
And honestly, with that, I think that's actually going to be... Well, I planned on making a short stream today because I wasn't really planning on working. Um, I actually have a job I have to do, so... I just wanted to show you guys the black buck, the diamond black buck in the beginning. And so thank you guys for stopping out here. I definitely plan on doing a stream on Classic tomorrow, so feel free to join that. And hopefully you guys have a happy holiday. And enjoy your day.